In this episode of how to turn junk into something meaningful and useful, we are going to turn this old divider wall that come out of the goat barn into a one bedroom home worth about $250 million in today's housing market. It doesn't come with any property or land or utilities or electric or plumbing or any of that kind of stuff. But stick around, let me show you how to do this. Let's get this going. The first thing we need to do is we've determined the height and it is 31 but it's got a three quarter inch roof which means only need it to be 30 and a quarter so we're going to rip four 30 and a quarter inch pieces double check this make sure it's right looks right to me not going to cut through the tape measure also we are not building a like a rocket or anything like that so we ain't got to be perfectly exact we just need to be close then i'll use this one to set this one's length and we ain't even going to measure the rest we're just going to get them close <laughs> You also need four pieces, 14 inches long. And again, I'm using recycled lumber for this. Still using recycled lumber. Whoops. Pulling nails out. Saving the nails even. I'm frugal. Might need these nails someday. Next, we need four 22 inch pieces. Gonna do them the same way. Four 22 inch boards, four 14 inch boards, four 31 and a quarter inch boards. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna make these funny looking frames. These right here are two of the 22s. These are two of the 31 and a quarters. So you just wanna take and screw these together like this. I was going to use glue. I'm too lazy to go find it. So I'll just use screws. It'll be all right. Next one just like it. You're going to use these 14s to connect these two together. Like this. So yeah, I get the bottom shelf put in it, 
and the top stapled on is going to make a nice drill press stand. I'm going to cut off some pieces that are 17 inches wide and use this so that it don't go to waste because not really much else I could use this for to be honest with you. So I know you can't see the whole entire stand, but it is the stand I built. Let me show you. Let me tell you what started all this. Used to be you could buy these like stands for a little bit of nothing. Like you used to be able to buy like a bench top tool stand for like 19 to 29 dollars. And uh, I went to go buy one, like the cheapest one I could find was 70 and I was like, no Biden, I, I ain't doing that shit. Seriously, I think it was uh, $4.99 for a package of green bean seeds that I used to be able to buy for like $1.39. Not that long ago when that orange man was in office for the cost of nothing but time. And uh, I don't know, maybe 40 screws I would have had to pay for. But for a little bit of time, I built a stand. Probably way better than all them $70 Chinese ones. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.